I think I can do a little bit more here. Might end up not uploading these videos until I get home in late August. We'll see what happens. left it before. I knew I was starting to feel a little bit tired. It's been over a month since I did any napping. A little bit of a hinge flake there, but not too bad, I guess. while you're ahead, you know? I've never really been one to listen to that kind of advice, even if it's my own advice. until it's perfect or it's broken. That's more my style. ugly now. One, one of these in. I haven't swung this in a while. Probably should have practiced first. Oh well, here goes nothing.
<laughs> yeah, I knew I probably shouldn't have done that. Yikes. right there, I don't know if this edge is going to handle this strike, this platform, but here goes. wanted, <laughs> to say the least, but it got rid of this step fracture in the back, it actually went all the way across on a diagonal and overshot a little bit here, I can clean that up later.
smaller and smaller. getting thinner, which is the name of the game. Getting these nice long flakes. It's not very regular. That's for sure. kiddos. Should have just stopped. Tried to make an indirect percussion tool to keep going. Wanted to persevere on my name day. It must be well over an hour by now.
last couple of flakes so I'll lift this a little bit. It's very irregular. I'm gonna need to do a bunch of pressure flaking, maybe a little bit of indirect percussion to fix this up. Not quite as long as I wanted originally, but ran into some problems. Took a few bad flakes. It's all a learning experience. That's it for now. Thanks for joining me on my birthday napping session. Cheers. later in the day now, about five hours later actually. I'm going to try and finish this today. I'm just going to do the pressure flaking. I won't do it on video. I'll just do it in my own time. Slow and steady. I'm going to try to make a fairly narrow stemmed or tanged point, which is pretty characteristic of the Anatolian Neolithic. Here goes nothing. See you in a bit. It's one hour later and this is how far I've gotten. It's not perfect, but I fixed a couple messy spots along the edge. It's somewhat regular. I don't know if I can the color might pick up a little bit you can see a bit of a blue tinge that's indicative of commercial outcrop I've got about 45 minutes till dinner I might keep going put a tang or a stem on this thing a little tired. I was getting pretty frustrated at this bad spot here. I ended up taking off a really thick pressure flake and kind of fixing it up, but got a lot of work to do if I'm going to finish this thing. It might be cool just to leave it as an example of a biface preform. haven't decided yet. So that's ferrolite in there. It would make a nice little hafted knife as it is, or just hand <laughs> or just a handheld knife. There's all the little flakes I've made so far. Quite a bit comes out when you're doing this pressure flaking. Here I am another 20 minutes later. I'm going to call this the finished piece. I'm not 100% happy with it, but all things considered, I think it went pretty well. It's not exactly a Neolithic point type, I wouldn't say, but I think it's pretty close. I'm just going to call it a generic stemmed bifacial point. It's a little bit thick, but that's pretty accurate archaeologically. I managed to get the edges somewhat regular. Not the sharpest it could be right now, but if I was ever going to use it, I would give it another run of pressure flakes all along both edges. I 
I was fussing around with the base quite a bit, trying to get it perfectly symmetrical. It's not perfect, but I think it's pretty close. There's all the debitage, quite a bit. Let's try and get you a shot looking at it in the sun to finish this video off. There we have it. Again, thanks for watching. I hope to be able to make a whole bunch more this summer. I've still got two months before I leave. Lots of time to crack into those big nodules of obsidian, make some cool blade cores, and have some fun. Take care, everyone. Cheers.